All right, we are here with Alex Landy at the Asian on Film closing night. How exciting is it to see all these winners and all these filmmakers here tonight? Uh, it's amazing seeing uh, all these Asian actors here in one setting. It's really, uh, it's really a spectacle to see. You know, Crazy Rich Asians starting this whole movement out. You know, this is just the beginning. I feel like it's a really great sight. And then right, right over your shoulder, you have Bai Ling with her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she, she's been. She, I think she's been on this carpet for the past like 20 minutes. I think. I don't, but uh, yeah, this is great. You know, everyone's having a good time. Yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit more about Asians on film. How? I mean, this is your first year here. Does that does that give you more uh, inspiration and also um, empowerment, especially you being on a on a, a top rated TV show? Yeah, this is my first year here. I know uh, Scott. This is what the sixth year, I believe, sixth year, sixth seventh year. Um, you know, this is, uh, it's really important, you know, having these events, everyone coming together, supporting each other, encouraging one another. Um, all the films I saw, all fantastic. Commando, Commando 1944, incredible film. Uh, yeah. Does this also get you to a point where, like, you want to be a filmmaker, or you're, right now, you're just good at, <laughs> at being an actor right now? Uh, right now, I just started, man, you know, uh, just coming up, you know, I feel very grateful to be on such a great show. Um, you know, I'm trying to just keep the ball rolling. It's uh, it's an honor, yeah. A lot of Asian families want their kids usually to be lawyers, doctors, and all that good stuff. Um, how did your parents react when you wanted to become an actor? And then, how, when, then what about all your friends? Uh, you know, they've been uh, super supportive of me the whole way, surprisingly. You know, you know, Asian parents always want you to be a lawyer, doctor, but, you know, a doctor on TV is the next best thing, I guess. Um, uh, I want to shout out my best friend Dustin, uh, Jamie, my parents, uh, my sister. They've all been super supportive of me. Um, and yeah, it, it's good to have a very solid team behind me. I'm very grateful. Yeah. And then what was that one thing that get the acting bug? Was it What was that? Uh, I, uh, my parents took me to a Broadway play, The Lion King. That was my first acting, you know, being in front of acting in general. And that kind of sparked the whole interest. Um, I had some family that's in the business as well that kind of got the ball rolling. Um, but I, I always had a strong ink. I was watching movies with my dad growing up all the time, and uh, yeah, you know, that's how it begins. Yeah. And then uh, for you, was there was there any um, actor in particular that you wish oh I could work with or I could act with or whatnot? Um, you know, obviously I would I would love to meet uh, Sandra O. Oh, you know, she was the you know she's been amazing on Grey's Anatomy, and it's an honor to you know kind of you know uh, take the torch per se, but. Uh, um, yeah, I've, she's great in Killing Eve. I've been keeping up with her a lot, and yeah, it's been it's been amazing. Yeah. Speaking about Sandra, all oh, you're you're also breaking barriers. You're the first Asian doctor on uh, on Grey's Anatomy, and also a gay character. Tell us a little bit more about like the experience right now and, and how welcoming they were. Uh, you know, getting onto that set, it was obviously very scary for me at first. I'm the newbie, the new guy, but uh, everyone's been super welcoming, open arms. Um, it's an incredible set to work on. It's a well-oiled machine. You know, it's been on for years now, longest running now. They just set the record. Longest running medical drama in history. Uh, very exciting to be a part of it, even though I just came in. I can't even consider, I can't even, it's kind of unfair for me to say anything, but it's just nice to be with everyone at the time, yeah. And have you got, have you got to meet Shonda Rhimes or? I, I have not been able to meet Shonda Rhimes, but um, she sent everyone, the whole cast, a nice little gift. Um, it was like customized Converse shoes with the record-breaking episode inked on the on the bottom. So I'm going to be saving those for the rest of my life. Yeah. So you got there right on time to get those Converse. Yeah. I, again, I said it's kind of unfair. You know, I'm, I'm so new. I, I don't even consider myself really being a part of it. But uh, it's just re really nice to be around everyone. Yeah. And then, um, talking about the the gay character, um, has any like uh, LGBTQ community organizations or or any fans reach out to you and, and show you love on social media and all that good stuff? Oh yeah, yeah, the LGBTQ community has been super supportive, uh, Asian community also super supportive. Um, you know, I'm, uh, it's an honor to be able to take on a role like this and make everyone proud. I just hope I'm doing a good job. <laughs> well, let's get a little bit lighthearted. Let's get to know you a little bit, uh, personal, like fun personal questions. Your favorite guilty pleasure food? Oh, guilty pleasure food, uh, me and my boy Dustin, If if you had to pick two people to tear up 20 pies of pizza, that's us. We will, we will, d Fury's Pizza in New York City is the best slice you'll ever get. It's our favorite food, our go-to. I keep that place in business. I've, I don't even know how much money I've spent on that place, but it's amazing. You gotta go there. Have you, being in LA, have you found a, your favorite pizza here? I know LA doesn't compare to New York, yeah. but 
Have you found anything yet? Yeah, there's. It's kind of unfair, but Joe's Pizza. I think that's a New York-based chain, but there's a there's a few around LA. Um, there there are a few other spots. I can't think of them right now, but my friends have been recommending. But I, I just moved here in September, so I'm 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 so new to the I'm so new. Now, for everybody knows you you got you got the rip abs and uh, you got a nice chest or whatnot. So they see you. They've seen you shirtless on the show. Um, what's your favorite go-to workout? Uh, I would say uh, chest day, chest day. Um, th that's definitely the uh, the number one workout. That's at wardrobe fittings. That's the always the number one problem when we're doing fittings. But uh, chest day for sure. And then what's the one that you you really hate to do, but you have to do it? Uh, I would have to say abs, man. Abs. It's always the end of the workout. It's just I'm tired. I want to go home. It's uh, abs. I always slack off. Yeah. And then when you're working out, what's that go-to? playlist is that go-to song that gets you excited uh probably travis scott drake you know any any of those two i'm into hip-hop these days um they're, they're, they're dope they're lit it's amazing is there any anything that you could do that people wouldn't know like you do like like touch your tongue to your nose or anything like that uh touch my tongue um anything wait what's the cat wait what's the question anything anything that's Anything that people wouldn't know that you could do, like maybe, you know how like um, some people could roll their tongue or, or roll something? Roll their tongue. Like, uh, double I am double jointed. I'm ambidextrous. I think that's something that maybe no one would know. But uh, yeah, it's weird. I write lefty, but I play all sports righty except for basketball. I don't know why. Uh, I'm allergic to uh, a bunch of foods except... Uh, I'm allergic to every single tree nut except for peanuts and almonds, which is like the weirdest thing ever. Uh, but yeah, I get to eat peanut butter. Thank God. Thank God. Well, speaking of sports also, aside from the peanuts, um, the, the Rams are going to um, the Super Bowl and you're, you're a trans man from LA. Who are you rooting for for the, for the Super Bowl? Uh, I, I just... Uh, I'm, I'm a Jets fan. I'm from New York, so I always rooted against the Patriots because they always beat us. But I'm rooting for the Rams. I, the games today were just insane. I've never seen overtimes like that in my life. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy for the Patriots. I just hope they lose. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, you know, for you also, what's a regular day in the life for you aside from when you're not working? Day in the life, man. I'm actually really introverted. I uh, stay in. I read books. I... I uh, Eat pizza. I, you should you should see my Postmates history. It's like literally just pizza, Philly cheesesteaks, and like Korean food occasionally. But uh, yeah, I'm I, I'm I'm an introvert, man. I don't really go out, you know. Aside from events like this, uh, yeah, I stay inside. I, I just got a dog, so I'm taking care of her most of the day anyway. So, um, is she, are you potty training her, or she's already potty training? Uh, she actually just took a shit on my kitchen floor, and I got really pissed at her today. Uh, she, she's mad at me right now. I'm gonna go home and try to deal with that. But she, it's tough. I'm, I'm, I'm in the process. She's only like five months. So. But you, you love her so much that you, you always forgive her, right? I, I, it's so hard. The puppy eyes come up, and I'm just like, oh damn it, I can't. It's hard to, it's hard to deny. Yeah. And then, uh, lastly, um, what do you want to say to your fans out there that have been supporting you, and maybe new fans that that have found you on um, uh, social media, and then this just by chance channel suffering and saw you on Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, I, I want to say thank you to all you guys, LGBTQ, the Asian communities. You guys have been so supportive for me, you know, welcome me with open arms. Um, I, I really appreciate all the supportive messages you guys have been, you guys have been sending me. Um, I read all of them, don't worry. And uh, I want to say thank you guys. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot, lastly, you're Korean. What's your Korean go-to food? Oh man, um, I would have to say uh, it's called kimchi jjigae. It's like a kimchi stew kind of thing. I also like kimbap, which is uh, it's like a sushi roll, but it's Korean style. There's a bunch of vegetables in it, super healthy. Um, yeah, some good protein in there. Right, well, you got the protein for your workout and your protein for your show. Congratulations again. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much.